Plus chums. I have literally have no idea how to start. We've just forgotten everything. Yeah, I think daddy's home. <laughs> <laughs> We're not dead. We're actually not dead. Adam McDermott didn't kill us after uh, recording with him. Um, so we're we're alive and well. That that can't be the intro, could it? After like very flat, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think, what what a better way for us to come back with a, a whimper <laughs> than, than a quiet kind of disheveled whimper? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well look, we're, we're we're back. We uh we managed to get the cigarettes in the shop, and we're we're back just just in time for dinner. Um, so Dan. <laughs> Uh, how are you? Where have you been? How has life been treated you since we went into hiding? Yeah, well, you know, ironically, I haven't gone anywhere at all. I've pretty much been in, you know, like a few miles radius of this place since since we last sat down. At the Pat Chum's recording hub. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's been, you know, it's been a busy, a busy few months, I suppose. Um, life stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we need to get... Know any more into it than that, but you know, boring life stuff. Um, and unfortunately, it's been a bit of a like a lull in the in the gaming sphere for me as well. Oh, it um, was a dry spell, wasn't it? Yeah, this is um, you know, so I'm I'm kind of coming off uh, like a streak of of pretty hardcore playing PlayStation since since lockdown, really. Like I suppose. That you was... you you you've been on like a an upwards trajectory for quite some time. Like you were put going into the stratosphere, it was like backlog, completion rates, ridiculous platinums. I think you had a goal for what like a hundred this year, a hundred this year, and I think I'm on, I think I'm on seventy nine now. Like that, that's that's awesome. <laughs> See, I but I don't think I look. I don't think I'm gonna get a hundred. I was like. I, this was my goal all year to get the hundred, and I don't think I'm going to reach it because it's not like number one. I don't really have the motivation anymore. It's not that I'm burnt out or anything because I, I, you know, I know we talk about that a lot, and and it's it's quite a common thing in the trophy world about being burned out. I'm definitely not burned out. It's I a common side really, effect of going for trophies. I think. Yeah, I'm just not know? not ours. Like I'm, I just <laughs> I just don't have any games that I really really want to play. Um, yeah. I was saying to you that I got quite into Pokemon cards and that was kind of like an, a, another, you know, thing that I then ju- just yeah, kind of jumped Dad into. Dad has a great collection of Pokemon cards. I just cards. jumped into like head first and I was yeah. like, okay, I'm just, you know, this is my thing now for, for the, for the next while. So I've been we, doing we that. were going to rebrand uh, the channel actually, because he's so, he's so far back into the love of Pokemon, you know, po- <laughs> Pokechums, you know. Yeah. It's, it's coming soon. TM coming soon. Second channel. Um, second channel yeah no uh but i i would still absolutely love to get up to 100 i'm i'm kind of going through like the games that i have yet to play this year and stuff and i got i've gotten three platinums this month but uh like the motivation just isn't there i turned the game on and i'm kind of pushing myself through it i'm i'm really like i i think i've just probably played like all the games that I was really interested in playing this year, um, yeah, yeah. Already now, I'm I am definitely excited for God of War Ragnarok. Yeah, like that's yeah, something that I wasn't really too hyped about. But every everything I see about it now, I'm kind of like, oh yeah, that it's was like it's really going to be a great, great game. game. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be a great yeah. game. Like the more I was kind of like, ah, oh, yeah, another God of War. Even though I, like I adored the the first one, the first one in this new yeah. line of games, God of War one. Like number God two. War four, one, two. Seven, two. <laughs> God of War one two whatever it is yeah <laughs> um but now this coming close and I, like I think the Callisto Protocol would be yeah. the other game that I'm uh, kind of looking forward to and uh, what was the that's December I think that's coming out but um Final yeah. Fantasy um Rebirth. Crisis Core remake is coming out in December, so I'm looking forward to that one too. That might be like my Christmas present. Yeah, the Christmas um, present, uh, Santa but, under the tree. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. So, well, I guess with your account though, like you know, you finally, I think, what was you? Ha- you wanted to get a hundred platinums, and you wanted to get all the games to A and Z ranks, wasn't it, on PSN profiles? Yeah, yeah. And um, I had a great, I have a great story because we, I don't think we've had a video since. Um, about since that. the year dot man, yeah. <laughs> like we just <laughs> I bought I bought this thing. Oh, okay, I bought this uh, USB fan. 
Oh, and it's basically just a fan you plug in and it, it does USB. Because the only game that was sitting at a B rank for me was Guitar Hero Five. USB and fan. <laughs> Guitar Hero Five is not a great game. It's not like you know, Guitar Hero is a relic of the past. It's it was of its time and for its time, yeah, and it should yeah. stay in its time. It should. It definitely should. Um, I that was at the B rank and. To get the guitar is really, really expensive now. Like you wouldn't get a guitar and a USB dongle for less than maybe a hundred quid these days. It's pretty, pretty pricey. So I was yeah. kind of, I, I was looking for them. You know, just every time I was on eBay, I, I might just type in Guitar a Hero, cheeky bid, three, cheeky you know, bid, PS3. Just, yeah. um, but I just couldn't find one. And then for some reason, I just never realized that you could do everything in the game pretty much with a microphone as well. So I was like, oh, okay, well, that that gives me something. So you can kind of do it like a sing star mode, you know? And then I was looking at the trophy list and then uh, and the trophy guide. And I found about this fan trick. So if you put it on beginner and just have a fan hitting the microphone, it will get you 100% every single time. So uh, that's what, what I did. I went back. I had a fan set up. I just... Uh, AFK just oh, I just turned the fan oh on, left the room, God. and just went to the next <laughs> song every time I came in the room, you know. And yeah, I got I got Guitar Hero Five up to an A rank, and this yeah. makes me feel bad because I remember I did like Sing Star and I had it on beginner, and I thought, oh maybe I'm not bad. But now, like, <laughs> all you need to do is fucking breathe into the breathe, microphone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now maybe Sing Star might have different requirements, but. Uh, that was um yeah like my my wife was looking at me just being like you are the saddest person <laughs> alive you know like because I was like I went on a hunt for a fan because I have a big I have a big floor fan but it was like I couldn't I couldn't get it to work with the the microphone so I needed, is that like, fan a, the secret to your success it's like how, how did you platinum these games yeah the fan. <laughs> just the fan the fan it was it was the fan all along damn it but um, also um also i the the, the guitar or five disc that i bought uh it, it for some reason had no audio it just played like a, a clipping noise the entire way through so i couldn't even hear the songs so i just turned the volume down had the that's fan the whole blowing. point of the game yeah yeah so it was it was a pretty it was a pretty desperate way to get up my last b rank game up to an a but <laughs> i did it and um that was that was something so um, i admire your determination and and the singing a, skills of the fan yeah the fan was the real mvp there um other than that the only note noteworthy thing was that i got world's first in cult of the lamb and your first was a bit, world's first my first ever yeah the because i previously i had world's first in call of duty black ops on the ps3 and then that le- like lasted one day or two days or something when other people started to sink their mm-hmm. their uh, their platinum trophies. And yeah. a lot of people had the plot even before the game kind of got released, you know, which was unfortunate. But um, I've never gone for world's first uh, for anything. And then what well, had happened? It was a, it was kind of a cheating world's first. Really, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't really a legit the fan. For, <laughs> the fan did it, but no. Um, the the game was glitched cult of the lamb so i got all the trophies except the glitched one and then what i did was i was kind of like oh wow like i have an opportunity to get like what w- up there you know in terms yeah of yeah the top first 10 like, yeah so i joined their discord and i joined um or, and i kind of installed twitter on my phone and you went deep them. undercover you went deep, deep undercover. undercover so i was like waiting for the patch notes you know as soon as the patch <laughs> notes turned the up. fan in like a detective code <laughs> and it actually was complete luck i was uh at, i was just here uh kind of checking stuff and then I think I went downstairs and I did the dishes and then I came upstairs and I just saw Cult of the Lamb and I just said, oh, I'll just say, I'll just check. Is there an update ready? And I checked, check for update and it said downloading patch. And I was like, oh, oh my God, it's downloading. So it downloaded (laughs) in like three minutes or something. And I jumped straight into the game and got the plat and I looked online and there was no patch notes or anything yet (laughs) at all. Like nobody like had realized that the patch had dropped yet. So I, and I manually- Suckers. I manually prompted the patch to go. And then um, I checked PSM profiles. I was the first achiever by about a minute. 
And there, is, there is some evil version of you somewhere in the world. Some other guy had the exact same idea. A few others. Um, but I got, I got it. I got it by a minute. And I was kind of waiting for like a week, thinking maybe someone might knock me off the pedestal, you know. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but no, no, still world's first. Nice. In Cult of the Lamb, PS5. So. Nicely done. That guy didn't have a fan. That, that's yeah. where he went wrong. The fan blew me up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give you that push. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that, that, so that's that was great cool. that, that's class but like um you also repl- um like i'm just kind of looking at your list here because i mean we couldn't really go through all the games you're playing because the like I'd, I'd say like your lull started maybe a month ago but before that you were like really pushing hard so i i feel like you know there's not much point talking about absolutely everything that you did play before uh, the dark times. Um, <laughs> but uh, I just, I find it interesting that like you played, uh, you know, stuff like Guitar Hero, but then you started Killzone Mercenary. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, like a, a, a race against the the clock kind of one yeah. for the, for the, um, the online trophies, because, you know, I know like, I suppose in terms of, Vita games it was the only really big one that I, I've yet to play yeah, yeah. Um, at least ones that I'd be kind of really interested in and just the idea of never being able to plat it kind of annoyed uh, you know was just niggling at me so I was like okay I'm going to I'm going to go and um, uh, go go for that and see if I can get the the uh, the the online <laughs> trophies yeah um, but I found like the game itself is great it's really good but I don't like the trophy list at all. Like, oh, it's awful. Fact- Do you remember me bitching yeah. to you about it when I was yeah, doing it? Yeah. Because, <laughs> because um, like when I got my Vita, I guess like uh, well over a year, I think like July last year or whatever, you know, that was the big game. Because I'm like, oh, I haven't played a first person shooter in a while. It looks great. And it's kind of like a perfect pick up and play game. So like if I had a bit of a quiet little period of work, you know, whip, whip it out. But um, the, the 10,000 kills is just insanity because i think i had to uh i was like restarting checkpoints which kind of uh gets rid of kills instead of just like saving and quitting so that was my fault but after doing all the contracts um and all the missions and all of that i had like four thousand or five thousand kills <laughs> yeah, yeah and when i got the majority of the online trophies like i use bot zone and stuff and i jump in to play like the odd random one because it was still quite active for a vita game and uh, like you'd occasionally find like two or three people playing it um but then when i got all the trophies like five thousand five hundred kills and you're like what and yeah. the grind like it was it was honestly it took me like two three months uh if not longer in fairness where i just load up you know um i think i mission number three i think was the best one or i forget and just play that mission over and over and over and over and over again yeah awful trophy list like there yeah. isn't like it five thousand kills would have been perfect it would have um, matched up with the kind of content in the game, definitely. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So, yeah, but like, fair, fair play, you did it. So, like, may- maybe Killzone started the dark times for you, or because that's quite a high pressure situation. It kind, of, yeah, it was kind of like a, a perfect storm of things because um, I still haven't gotten the plot for Killzone because I'm, I think I'm on about six and a half thousand kills. But also, yeah. I find like I find having to replay every mission four times at least. For the contracts is very draining um yeah it's, it like they're not it like the the fact that say in certain certain missions you can do something wrong and then there's no way of recovering that contract in that mission so then you just have to restart the whole mission i find that that's very frustrating yeah yeah um the like, stealth um... sucks stealth is rubbish <laughs> the stealth um, just doesn't work doesn't work yeah exactly. and like there's no mechanics in place to allow it to work <laughs> yeah and then um yeah so that that's kind of sitting there but it's it's very plottable like i think uh, you know maybe two or three kind of decent days of going for that i could probably get the plot maybe a few more for the extra i'd kills. say for the kills like um i i wouldn't i wouldn't put that time frame on us personally i i like the way i handled it i think it's the best way if you've got the online done you can rest easy yeah just yeah. just do one or two matches or one or two uh of the runs through of the level yeah just get get like your 200 kills for the day or whatever and just stop and just stop yeah yeah yeah, just if you Um, have 15 20 minutes to spare um it's better for that but anyway yeah i was also on a down 
period with the trophies. Uh, so I think uh, I was maybe a little bit earlier than you in terms of uh, just going like, oh, what? Like, I'm just not arsed. That was the basic expression. It, I just wasn't arsed. So for me, it was a very clear game that did that for me. And it was the evil within. I think the evil within broke me in terms of like <laughs> trophy hunting. It literally ripped me asunder, man. It just, uh, I don't know what it is. I think it was maybe like a perfect storm because like when I look back at what I was playing, so like I was, um, you know, I did like Dark Souls 3 kind of late last year and that was qu- quite grindy in fairness. An awful lot of like going to or in Orlando and just trying to like get the drops from the, the nights and stuff. And yeah, just kind of, grindy great but grindy and then you know persona 5 royale just this great big game now the trophy list isn't bad but it's it's a long game you know it's investment and then like i went in for the killzone mercenary plat i got that in march and then elden ring which is great we'll say nothing more but then it was like another play through persona 4 uh you know because it's it's two playthroughs for the plat and I think I'm like, okay, like, this is kind of, you know, it's all these big, chunky platinums. So then I, I play Resident Evil 8, and the first little board inside was in Mercenaries mode. So I still haven't platted it. I think it was, I, it's one trophy, but I was playing Mercenaries mode. I did the first four. <clears throat> and then, like, the other three, it's like, oh, I'm going to need to watch, like, you know, videos on it. And I'm just like, I'm just not ours playing the Mercenaries mode. It just isn't as fun as playing as Hunk in Resident Evil 4. Like it's, I prefer that kind of wave type, not that they're all standing in particular areas and you have to follow like a set path. You just can't get it. You have to keep the combo going. So I'm just like, okay, like I'm not ours. My whole thing, and I think we're quite similar. It's like, it has to be a game with joy and I've always loved it. And it was the first time in about 14 years of doing this where it's really just like, I'm just simply not ours. I'm just not ours. And then I said, you know what? I, it's a good time to start the evil within. That was the worst thing I could have fucking done <laughs> because that is the most bollocks trophy list I've come across. And maybe it's just it came at a bad time. But I started up the game and it's a game I've been meaning to play for years, years and years. And it's it's clearly a game that I will enjoy. But I mean, I don't want to do four playthroughs of it. Now, this is all in my head. I don't have to do four playthroughs. This is just something that, you know, normally I would do and that I enjoy. But that game, man, just, I, I was just like, I'm not enjoying this. I was trying to, you know, uh, get the trophy for, um, because you need to play it, I think, on survival or like moderate or whatever to unlock uh, Kumo mode, I think. So I was playing a higher difficulty, not upgrading. I think that's what is killing me with it so i'm just like this just isn't fun at all yeah. it's just it's just not good it's just <laughs> ruining the game and then i hit this wall where with a boss i literally just could, couldn't beat it's that one in like the park uh where you come out of like an underground it's like in this kind of open plaza yeah. Yeah. yeah like i loaded up turn right <clears throat> munched on the face loaded up turn right munch on the arse and i'm just I, I can't do anything i'm li- literally just like stuck so i kind of like rage deleted that off my account i'm like i i i'm actually i'm probably never gonna go back to it <laughs> or not for quite a while yeah it's yeah. it's just gonna stay there until yeah. maybe I'm I'm ready. And then, you know, I've kind of finished Pyre. Uh, I had kind of like a quick Fire 3 Platinum, though, after Rage quitting the Evil Within. I was like, okay, I'll actually just quickly finish up Undertale. I'll finish Pyre for the Platinum Club. And I kind of just naturally platted FIFA. So mm-hmm. it was kind of good. And then since, since then, I've taken a very lackadaisical approach to the trophy hunting. Um where, like, I haven't been playing as much, but, like, I, I still played, you know, South Park Fractured Butthole, uh, and, like, I played Stray, I started Sekiro and Yakuza Like a Dragon, but I'm just not too concerned with the trophies at all. Like, um, yeah. you know, I've won trophy in South Park that's uh, it's just <clears throat> Morgan Freeman, <laughs> and I think there's, like, a speed run in Stray, but if I didn't feel like it, I'm not going to, like, push through. I feel like that, that sense of, like, going for it, the evil within just mutated that that trophy love in me and for the first time in 14 years it's not kind of combined with my love of the game in the same way where it feels like a chore and that was never the case before 
Um, so I decided just to kind of forego it. And then uh, when I was on a holiday, uh, uh, girlfriend's family would put UFC 4 on my list, which I think 10 years ago I would have had an aneurysm if this happened. <laughs> I literally would have died on the spot because I always had like a com- kind of a more completionist kind. Yeah. Now, I, I was playing UFC on uh, uh, alternative accounts, so it's not like... I like I, I like it. I fight night round four of my account. So those kind of sports fighting games I always kind of liked. But it's just it's the online trophies that I think I don't think I can get it. I think that might be the only game that might be unplatable on my list unless I get really, really good at that game. Um or just beg someone to do it for me, Dan. <laughs> no, no, you'll you hundred percent be able for that, definitely. Yeah. So that's kind of where we've been. Yeah, uh, it's a depressing story of two fallen giants. <laughs> I also have to mention Mark of Cree. That was a, a PlayStation 2 game that I downloaded mm-hmm. from the PlayStation Classics. And I found that one very, very draining. And that was one that was the last game that like I that was the nail in the coffin game for me because <laughs> the um the, we're talking the, about like it's so serious. So serious, yeah. No, but <laughs> like there's um each each level has challenges and the challenges on one level i loaded the level up and the challenges were hit the enemy to the side of you using a forward facing attack and stay facing forward or something and it was like all the oh. challenges were like that and i was kind of looking at it going i don't even understand what that means you know is that a haiku you prick yeah. <laughs> and nobody there's like no guides online at all for this game at all yeah I, I was looking into actually playing this and i noticed there was no guides so i i just went nah yeah, and I like it. It's like a, it's it's a classic PS2 game that yeah, was brought yeah. over to the PS4 with absolutely no quality of life improvements <laughs> at all, and like it just feels like the most that that, PS2 side, that, game. that sounds an awful lot like that short-lived PS2 to PS4 program though. Like I remember being so excited and then I was like, man, Hunt and GTA, yeah, and yeah. Bully. I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. All these like old games. Maybe they'll do PS1. Like what well, I think there was like four or five other PS2 games released after that. Or like if that, it's just they totally abandoned it. Yeah, yeah. And there's some great games like on on there available on PS2, but that one was yeah, that one was one I'd never played before in in the PS2 generation. And you'll so. never play again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never, never again. Um, so yeah, a lot of games that I've I, I've tried to you know kind of get back into the the swing of things by playing to the old games. Yes, yeah, a few a few games and I played um, Chernobyl right there, and I did the DLC for, for Tome and stuff. Um, I finally I finally platted Burly Men at Sea. Um, yeah, one of us finally has that damn game on our we, list. We did it. Yeah, no, it was really like it was a really quick, easy one, but it was it was actually good. Like I enjoyed the the different little story beats in it. I'm going to um, keep it a mystery to myself. I still yeah. never <laughs> looked up anything about the game. I needed I, um, I yeah. needed an easy like kind of gateway back into into get an empty platinum, pasta you know? kind of thing. Yeah. It's like yeah, it's a gateway drug. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yeah, well, so, like, look, you see, the thing is, like, we will be back. Uh, well, I guess we are back, considering we're making a video again. It kind of shows that, like, may, may, maybe we'll ease into it. But, <coughs> um, yeah, it's it's not that I, I will never uh, go for the platins again. I, th- I think that's a bit maybe OTT. And that was, I think, what I was talking about when uh, I was at my height of hitting the Evil Within's trophy yeah. list. Um, but I yeah. think definitely the foot has been well taken off the accelerator in terms of like really going for the platinums or kind of like, in a way, it's kind of nice. <laughs> um, well, like, it's not that I never thought it was nice playing the games and getting the platinum. It always came with it. But I think now it's like I'm not completely obsessed with getting that 100% as quick as possible. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, I'll come or it'll, you know, I'll get it go back to it at some point like south park like i know that might be an hour max maybe just half an hour stray it's like one speed run it's just i'm not like i will feel like doing it at some point uh my completion rate has taken a bit of a bollock and though it's down to 97.99 percent what uh oh, wow. terrible <laughs> stuff terrible <laughs> stuff um 
So I'd say in fairness, I'm probably going to focus more on Yakuza, like a dragon. I was really, really enjoying that before I went on holiday. Yeah. Um, and Sekiro. Sekiro's very different, though. The, yeah. It's a bit different than what I was expecting. Um, so I'm going to just kind of chip away at that. That's a bit more of an involved trophy list. So I think Yakuza, like a dragon, is just a nice sort of... It, it's just the type of game I fancy at the moment, if that yeah. if that makes sense. Um, and UFC is going to be like a challenge and a half for me because I'm going to have to like get good. Um, so I don't know. Uh, in short, we're alive. Uh, we were taking a bit of a break from the the Al trophies, um, but I th- I think I think we're 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 good. We're 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 good. We're sorry for just abandoning <laughs> the whole damn thing. <laughs> yeah, and of course the Platinum Club as well. That was um, no, the Platinum Club will 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 be back. Um, Platinum Club will be back. Yeah, I think we're um, we still have to do the video on uh, a way out because we have basically, you know, we we did that and we have a lot of content for that. Um, but we will hopefully bring back the Platinum Club maybe the start of next month. Yes, yes. Give ourselves a deadline so that we have to do it. <laughs> no! <laughs> you bastard! Um, we just disappear for another six months. Um, yeah, no, no, we really do have to. And, you know, again, I think things are kind of slowing down. Yeah, um, yeah. Life, life-wise life as well. As well. You know, the, the end of summer was kind of a very busy period and stuff. So Bit of a um, mad summer, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, hopeful for the future. The road ahead looks bright. Flat jumps. <laughs> <laughs> um, please, may I, I think I need someone to like challenge me to do something so that I'll actually have like you know the motivation. So if anyone has any challenges, well, me, I, I I have a challenge. Okay, a gladiator style challenge for okay yakuza. Okay, like dragon. Okay, yeah. You know, remember <laughs> that that thing I was telling you about that might be mm-hmm. pretty good. It'd be relaxed. It'd be a relaxed challenge, but it's still a challenge. Just, I'm I'm getting ready to download it as we just, speak. Just, 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 just say, it, man, we can make that happen. Cue Platyator music. I I really hope I downloaded it when it was free. <laughs> oh, well, I think you, I did. It, I think I did. I'm like ninety five percent sure I did. I'm fairly certain you're like me, and if you see a game that's even halfway remotely interesting, you'll you'll download it. Like yeah. I just claim it, like. Sure, I've got like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare remastered, and like loads of games that are just claimed just sitting there that I probably yeah. never play. But, you know, unless they're absolute gack, I'll, do, I'll, <laughs> I'll 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 put them in my library. You know? <laughs> I'm not I'm not picky, man. I'll take whatever is going. Um, so yeah, look, thanks a million for for watching, and sure we will catch you in the next one, which will be in five years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Let's